here we today we have to find out here we have to find out the hybridizations of nh3 bf3 before undergoing the chemical reaction after undergoing the chemical reaction what will be the hybridizations so here already I made a video how to calculate the hybridization once watch the that video you will know that how to calculate the hybridization very easily so before reaction we have to find out the nh3 center in nh3 central atom nitrogen hybridization we have to find out so if you want to find out the hybridization nh3 so it is having one lone pair of electrons it will be there so to find out the hybridization formula is bond pairs plus lone pair will get the steric number that indicate the hybridization so here it is containing the three bond pairs it is containing the three bond pairs and one lone pair of electron that is involved in the bonding so it is steric number is four four is in the sense it is sp3 hybridization it is sp3 hybridization will be there and bf3 so same bond pair plus lone pair bond pair here three bond pairs will be there lone pair are zero lone pairs are present so it will get the steric number three hybridization will be sp2 hybridization before it is a uh, before undergoing the reactions bf3 is a planar in structure and nh3 is a per trigonal pyramidal in structure after the reactions what will happen we have to find out the hybridization whether the hybridization is changed whether the hybridization is not changed we have to find out so once you observe nh3 having the one lone pair of electrons so it is lone pair of lone pair of electron it is having if you see the bora bf3 so whose atomic boron atomic number is 5 whose electronic configuration is will be 1s2 2s2 2p1 will be there so here it will form the sp2 hybridization with the bf3 sp2 hybridization it will form sp2 hybridization that's what we know we will give the some amount of energy to the s automatically in the this is the ground state level so exit state will be like when the bond formation it will form the bond formation whenever the bond formation. so fluorine atoms they will form the bond with the fluorine with the fluorine they will form the bond see here even though it is forming the bond with the fluorine so after formation of the bond with the fluorine it is containing the six valency electrons contained to get the stability eight valency electrons is required that's why whatever the lone pair of electrons is there this lone pair of electrons donates its electrons to the boron it will donate that only we are indicating with the bond is called as a coordination bond or dative bond so dative bond now see this we have to, again we have to find out the hybridization of the nh3 and bond with the dative bond with the bf3 we have to find out so once see the structure it properly nh3 here no electrons lone pair of electrons are present so bf3 so how many bond pairs is there old three bond pairs old old bond pairs and there is a one new bond is formed that is called as a coordination covalent bond or dative bond so three plus one new bond so totally four so hybridization will be sp3 this is about the nh3 and bf3 three old bonds will be there automatically one new bond is formed that is called as a coordination covalent bond or dative bond so total will be four sp3 so they will show the similar structures they will show that's why in coordin uh, in the adduct of the nh3 and bf3 why uh, bf3 will accept the electron in the sense is contains of one vacant p orbital will contain that's why it will form the adduct product with the ammonia it will form why ammonia is involved in the sense it, it is contain the lone pair of electrons is contained that's why it's involved in the adduct with the bf3 so after the formation of the after the reactions the hybridization will be similar will be is there 